Hey gold diggers, welcome back to East Gippsland. Just collecting some dirt on our way down to camp. Right next to the track, fill the trailer up. And then you set up down camp in the shade. You don't get too hot. Got young Seb helping me today. Been a while since he's been in a video, he's grown a little bit. But yeah, we're just digging the Chinese throw out here. Take it down to camp, set the mixer up and process it all and see what we get. All right, let's help him shovel, I suppose. Check out the size of the scrub worms we're finding. You can never find one when you're going fishing, though. Thought I'd show you the trips before this weekend's trip, but um, this was the first attempt with the mixer. Massive fail, I forgot to take all my hoses, so yeah, didn't have enough water. Had to bucket the water into it, but we still got gold out of it. Second attempt, plenty of water this time. Having this setup makes shoveling easy as. No need to clean off the grizzly bars. All the rocks came out as clean as a whistle. It really works well. Big Davo and I must have put through at least a metre of dirt in an hour. So happy I finally made this setup. We've tested the mats and have found the pickers stay in the barrel while the fine gold gets caught in the mats, mostly in the top mat. I was a little worried with how the water surges out of the mixer bowl, but after a full trail load and there was only one fly poo in the pan at the end of the sluice, I reckon I can live with that. And attempt number three. We ran a full trail load in an hour and 45 minutes. Got some colour plus a couple of sapphires. Not a bad trip. Fast forward this weekend. Seb and I camped down the creek for a night and we all ended up running half a trail this trip but it's good to get the lad back out there finding some colour. Been running for a little while, not happy. Still got that much material to go through, but the old dim sim cement mixer ain't liking how much dirt we're throwing in there. So, had a block of wood over here, used the saw to cut a line in it and sit the axle in but she's still pretty rock and rolly. So I'll go and cut another, another ring and put slots in the ring for the wheels to sit in. And then it'll be on two blocks instead of one because at the moment she is rocking and rolling. So with two blocks, that'll sturdy that side up. Beautiful. 
All right, we've had a rebuild. That block there holding that foot up. And yeah, the timbers, instead of that one being across the uh, axle of the cement mixer, now it's holding the wheel, and that one's holding the wheel. Made it a lot sturdier. And we'll be able to shovel into that flat out now and not worrying about it tipping over or anything. We've also made the spray bar go underneath the basket. This young Sebastian got absolutely saturated when that basket was full of rocks and was spraying all over him. But we've just been up the hill and got a little bit more dirt. We've got that much left in the trailer. And just went up the hill and got some more buckets of dirt. So we'll put that through and have some dinner and see how we go. Well, Saturday night rolled on. We got a visit from the Gold Whisperer. Then on Sunday, Boothie come down to see us as well. Haven't caught up with them two dudes for a while, so that was good. But yeah, Seven I didn't run any more dirt after that half a trailer, but it looks like we're averaging one gram of gold per trailer load. So best I get a bit fitter and get back out there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.